going to discuss integrity constraints as far as relational database is concerned integrity constraints of relational databases relational databases as you know is a set of tables and here we have we are uh, classifying this as domain constraints entity integrity constraints reference integrity constraints and key constraints what do you mean by domain constraints suppose that you are creating a table and suppose that you have an attribute for example an attribute is age age is an attribute then uh, age should be a, a human being for a human being the permissible age is in between 1 to 120 so if you have an attribute called a then the domain should be in this range 1 to 120 that means you can have a check for that domain constraint okay now suppose that the date of birth field suppose that you have a date of birth field dob that should be a date you cannot have an integer value there so in that case also that means a uh, valid set of attributes should come from a domain valid set of attributes should come from a domain suppose that the name of a person that should not be an integer value so in that case we we can have a check there also that means a domain constraint means valid set of values for an attribute an attribute can take a set of values only from that domain okay that is for that is domain constraint now entity integrity constraint in the sense for every table you should have a primary key for identifying a tuple so so that primary key value cannot be null that is the entity integrity constraint for every table you should have more than one primary more than one candidate keys and from the among that candidate keys one of them is selected as a primary key and using that primary key you should be able to distinguish a unique tuple for example your uh, roll number or your uh, university register number those are all, those are unique to you KTUID that's also unique okay so if you have such a primary key then that can, that field cannot be null suppose that you have a table this is a table and you have a set of attributes and if this is the primary key then for every tuple these fields can be null this is null this is null no problem but this cannot be null this this field or this attribute cannot be null that is the primary key cannot be null that is integrity entity integrity constraint now next is a referential integrity constraint referential integrity is with regard to foreign key what do you mean by foreign key if you have a table 1 and table 2 this is table 1 this is table 1 this is table 1 and this is table 2 this is table 2 okay now the, this is a is the primary key for this and suppose that f is a foreign key which is referencing so this is the f is the primary key here and you have say c d e etc that means f is the foreign key means here this is a foreign key means it is used as a primary key for some other table here table one is having a as the primary key primary key is a and here the primary key for table b is table 2 is f and this is an attribute here this is an attribute here and once you have a tuple which is inserted into the table then definitely you have an f value here and that is referencing that is a reference to table number 2 okay that means here f is a foreign key for table 1 and f is a primary key for table 2 okay now referential integrity says that referential integrity that means referential integrity constraint says that if you are inserting 
data or inserting a tuple into this data into this table either this f should be null either that foreign key value the attribute value here should be either it should be null or suppose that you are inserting another value then you should have that entry in this table or suppose that in the first tuple so, so i am going to have say the the attribute f is having value set 12 suppose that some value 12 that means here i have inserted and this is the tuple i have inserted into table 1 and that is having a foreign key f which is referencing table 2 and here when you have inserted this ask the foreign key attribute value you are inserting 12 then this 12 should have an entry here that means 12 something that means 12 is the primary key here and there should be an attribute there should be a tuple which is having primary key 12 in this table and suppose that you are again inserting some other values at 30 then suppose that this the record corresponding this 30 is not there here what will happen that is Daniel reference or that's error that means here this referential integrity constraint says that if you are inserting data into a table then if it is having a foreign key either that foreign key attribute should be null that means if you are inserting this value if it is null no problem that means you are having null value here or if it is a valid valid value then that should be available in table 2 if if you are you have inserted this here and suppose that it is 30 and this 30 also should have some tuple here that means here this is the primary key here and foreign key here and as the foreign key attribute you have inserted 30 then corresponding to this foreign key attribute value there should be a tuple here otherwise it will generate error that means that reference is not valid that means if you are inserting data into a table and if it is having a foreign key then that foreign key attribute should either be null or it should reference to a, there should be a valid entry in table 2 which is having this attribute value so that is reference to the key constraint and key constraints are uh, the primary key value cannot be null then for all candidate keys that candidate keys if uh, for a table you have a number of candidate keys that candidate key attribute cannot be null but the primary key attribute cannot be null so that is here constraints so regarding uh, integrity constraints we have domain constraints entity integrity constraints referential integrity constraints and key constraints among this these are very important that means entity integrity and referential integrity entity integrity means if you are if, if you are having a primary key that cannot be null that simple if for, uh, with regard to referential integrity it is regarding foreign key if you are inserting data into a table which is having a foreign key then the value of that foreign key attribute should either be null you can easily do that should either be null or if it is having a valid value then there should definitely be an entry in the second table which is referenced by the first one there should be an entry in the second table okay so that's all about integrity constraints.